Hello guys, welcome to Rex Gaming. My name is Spectral Rex and welcome to another Call of Duty video, guys. So a couple of months back I started a, 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 a series. That's what I started. I started a series. Now it didn't go too well. Um, I posted out on Twitter. Uh, it was the Come Challenge Me series. Um, you use it. You you know you give me the class to use. Um, you pick your favourite game mode. It's your best class, and we play against each other. You know most kills, most captures on the flag. Blah de blah de blah, etc. etc. So it it didn't go that well. It, it, it was it was a series that went down pretty much down the pan. Um, now. Like I say, I started it a couple of months ago, and I only found out today that someone messaged me saying, Rex, could you use this class? Um, and the class is going to come up on screen in the next couple of seconds. And I'm going to talk about the class a little bit. Um, he asked me to play Domination, and as you guys can see, we're using the Obsidian Steed. Uh, there is a class, guys. So, it's the Obsidian Steed um, attachment, um, as you guys can see on, on screen. Um, we're going to be using four grip, stock, and quick draw. And that's pretty much what I use anyway. So I, I wasn't really too fussed about that. You know, it, it didn't worry me, um, so to speak. <laughs> now the, the, there is a couple of things that did worry me about this class, um, but we sort of overcome them. And the first one being um, there was no lightweight. Now I've always used lightweight on every single class I've used um, for the past what ten months, eleven months. Um, just just over 11 months I think it is um, so you guys know how long it's been out anyway since Advanced Warfare has been out so I've always used Lightweight I, now I didn't know if it made a difference because like I say it's all I ever used it was all I was ever used to I didn't play without it so I, I you know I didn't know if I was losing out um, that didn't really seem to make any difference whatsoever um, you know the ball really really did play well um, like I say I'm not you know it's I've always used it, so not using it was was a bit of a worry for me. Um, but yeah, no, that seems to work fine. Um, down to the next perk um, is peripherals, and for anybody that doesn't know what peripherals, peripherals is, it just makes a mini map a little bit bigger. Now I used to use that um, within the first say three months, four months of Advanced Warfare, maybe a bit longer. Um, but then someone said to me, Rex, you do realise if you use Blind Eye, you know, you you won't get killed by by the helicopter and stuff like that and I'm thinking shit why I, why didn't I start using it from the beginning so I still swapped out to blind eye and I'm thinking shit if somebody calls a chopper in while I'm using peripherals it, it's just gonna it's you know it's gonna slaughter me and if I'm doing well you know I'm, I'm really gonna see my arse so that was another little worry um, but yeah we seem to overcome that they, they did call the chopper in at some point um, but we managed to just sort of boost dodge out there and go into hiding uh, and undercover while it was out so that wasn't really much of a worry um, I suppose if you're playing against campers that are, you know that are constantly bringing streaks in 24-7 then it's going to be a little bit difficult um, ha having a really good game but yeah, you know, we seem to do quite well anyway um, down to perk 3 now we're going to be using 2 here uh, we're going to be using blast suppressor um, and we're going to be using scavenger scavenger not worry I always use scavenger always um, you know I stand by scavenger no matter what there's a lot of YouTubers that don't use it but then you'll see him pick up somebody else's gun uh, and somewhere down the line they, they're they going to die because you know you didn't create that class um, of the weapon that you're using you didn't put the attachments on um, so you know it might not be to your standard and you're going to die at some point um, so yeah scavenger not an issue blast suppressor um, was a bit of an issue at the beginning it wasn't an issue through the game um, I'm lying it was it was if anybody doesn't know what toughness does when you're being shot at when bullets are hitting you and you're trying to aim back and fire um, it, it's going to give you a bit of a bounce you know it's it's going to affect you you're going to notice when you're trying to shoot in a straight line at somebody um, and someone they're hitting you first then you're going to notice quite a bit of bounce um, w within your aim uh, and it can, sometimes it can make it quite difficult to, to pick up the kill um, but yeah I mean it, it affected me every now and again you know it, it wasn't it wasn't major um, it, it's not something I'm going to complain about but that was a really really big worry for me not having any toughness because I've used that throughout Advanced Warfare um, and, and on some of the other Call of Duties as well I've used toughness um, so yeah that was a real worry but I, I mean it, it played really really well um, <laughs> there was another worry um, and that was 
the guy, the, the guy James, he asked me to use a UAV, um, and that was with threat detection, um, orbit, and support. Now, this is, I think it's a 1300 um, point kill streak or score streak. So I was a little bit worried there, and I'm thinking, shit, I'm not thinking that, you know, when you use support, it doesn't matter if you die. You still got the same amount of points on the UAV as you did when you died. It just, you know, you just carry on and carry on until you get it. So um, at first it was a little bit of a worry. Um, assault drone. Assault drone was a bit of, a, well, I say a bit of a random one. I, I use it A1 control. Um, sometimes I use um, stealth. Is it called stealth? No, cloak. Um, so so people don't know where it is, um, and it's not shot down as easy. Um, and obviously I use rockets as well. Um, he asked me to use A1 control, which was fine. Rockets, fine. But he also asked for the machine gun as well. Now, you'll see in this gameplay, guys, I didn't really get that much chance to use it because using the BAL on such a small map like this is, is not ideal. Uh, but like I say, we, we may do with what we had. Uh, we didn't we didn't get as many assault drones as I would have liked. You know, a few more would have been nice. But all in all, guys, the class, the, the class itself, um, I think he called it the DNA, the DNA class. And I honestly think, hand on heart for someone who's been dropping quite a few DNA bombs um, just recently, um, I honestly think that this this is a really strong class. It has, you know, one or two downsides to it. Um, not having blind eye being one of them, um, no toughness. But like I say, they're, they're things you, you can compensate for them. As you guys can see, the chopper comes in here, gets a few shots on me, and I just managed to boost and get into cover. I sort of stayed in cover until it disappeared. That would be an issue, I suppose, while, while trying to achieve DNA bombs, especially on, on larger maps where there's not as much cover. You guys are going to be exposed quite a bit um, out in the open to people's uh, kill streaks. So, I, I, I mean, it depends what sort of player you are. Um, if you like to run and gun, you know, you're not, you're not, you're not the sort of person that likes to take it easy and maybe get into a bit of cover when there's a kill streak out. Then I honestly think you, you might struggle. Um, but if you're just going to sort of play, you know, a little bit, a little bit passive, you're just going to sit back a bit. Um, not camp. I, I, I don't agree with camping, but you know, just sitting back while everyone else sort of jumps on the hard point or or caps the flags and you offer a bit of support. You know, just sort of that that sort of role. Um, bit it, it being the support role. I honestly think this is perfect. And honestly, I'm I'm going to try and hit a DNA bomb with this class. I'm going to keep I'm going to keep plugging. I'm going to keep trying. Uh, it, you know, and I, I I will be absolutely made up if I if I can uh, do it with someone else's class. So yeah, I, I mean that's pretty much it to be honest, guys. I'm hoping I'm hoping you guys enjoyed the footage. Please do rewind the video, guys. Give it a pause and try James's class. I think it's James Doherty. Um, big thumbs up to you, mate. Really, really good class. Um, if there's anything else that you would like to see me use, um, you know, get in touch like you, like you did last time. Or if there's anybody else out there that would like to uh, would like like me to use their class, you know, do get in touch, guys. Um, you guys can get me on Twitter as well. It's at Spectral Rex. I'll also link my. Uh, see, I got lost for words. I do it every every video. I get lost for words. I'll link my sponsors um, in the description below, so you guys can go and have a look at that. Um, Cinch Gaming and at Harmful Grips. So buy a controller from Cinch Gaming. Put some grips on it from at Harmful Grips. What more could you ask for? So hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If so, guys, please do give it a big. Give it a big thumbs up, show your support. But until my next video, guys, take it easy, take care, I'll see you guys.
Nothing more we can do here, Sentinel. We've lost. Not really. 